Okay, so what I'm going to do here is install the um, Linux um, Python environment. Um, there's a couple of ways to do this in in, um, in Linux. The first thing I'm going to do is go down to the menu, um, and then you'll see if I've got up here is install new applications, the software manager. I'm going to click on that, and then I'm just going to type in my password. And in a wee second, I should get the software coming up on the screen. Okay, so this is almost like a wee app store for Linux. Um, and what I'm going to do in here, I'm just going to type in Python and press enter. And you'll see you get a whole host of uh, different Python uh, software coming up. The one I'm going to install is called Eric, um, after the Monty Python. Um, Eric Idle, right? So I'm just going to double click on uh, Eric, and you'll see there's a wee button that says install, and this is just a Python IDE. Now we won't use all the features of it, um, but um, it, it will certainly do the job for us. So I'll just click on install. Okay, and it runs through the process here, and you'll see that Eric is now installed. So I'm going to go to our menu. And I can just go up here and type in Eric. And you'll see that it's the Eric Python IDE. Click on that. And give it a wee second and it'll load up. Let's close that down just now. And you'll see that you get the environment coming up. Now there's a lot of stuff on this screen that um, I'm not overly concerned with it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, go to New File. And you'll see this comes up here. I'm just going to test this out. So I'll say Print Hello World. And what I'll do then is I will um, go to File and Save As. And I'm just going to call it hello world dot py and save that. And then I'm going to go to start and go to run script. Click on OK. And you'll see there the program runs in the terminal. Right, the other option in this is you can run it from the terminal, but this is a bit more advanced. So you can open up the terminal and you'll see it says VirtualBox. Now if you want to see what the directories are in the folders, you can put in DIR. And you'll see that you've got documents. Now that's where I saved the file to. So I'm going to say CD for change directory to documents. Okay. Now what I need to make sure is I've got a line of code in my Python file. So if I um, go back into my Python document, I'll load up Eric again. And I'll open up my file. Go to recent. And what you'll see is that I need to put this code in. So it's hashtag exclamation mark slash use slash bin slash env, and that stands for environment space Python, and that tells you when to open it should be used the Python environment. So make sure that line of code is the first in your program. And then what we should do is we can type in, I can put in dir just to see what's in there, and you'll see hello world is in there, and I can just say um, Python. Hello world. Dot py, and that runs the file just the same. Okay, that only works if you put that first line of code in that I showed you. you to change the environment to Python, but that's a more advanced way of doing it. You don't necessarily need to do it that way.